court, order in the court. The judge will now preside. All rise.
by our ancestors to show God that we are sorry when we stray. What more does God want of us? Would the Most High be satisfied with thousands of lambs or with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Huh. Shall we give our firstborn for our sins? Huh. What does the Lord require of us than to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with our God? We do this through our worship. Our priests do this by constantly being in attendance in the temple. We are fulfilling the obligations of our faith through our sacrifices. That is just the point. You say one thing through your sacrifices, but something completely different through your everyday actions. And because of that, your sacrifices are empty and affront to God. Would you have the Lord forget the treasures of your wickedness in God's very house? Would you have God acquit your own theft from the poor with deceitful weights? Rich men are full of violence. The people speak lies to one another without batting an eye. Order, I will have order in this court. If, if it pleases the court, I do not think the people of Israel understand what will happen to them if they do not turn from their wickedness. All that people have acquired, they will lose. They will eat and not be satisfied because their souls will starve. You will collect all your money, but you will not save. You will sow in your fields, but you will not reap a harvest. You will crush your olives, but will be unable to anoint your heads. All of this will happen because the most upright are corrupt. You have said yourself that Yahweh requires you to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with our God. Yet, you leave the temple and do not live this out in your everyday lives. God cannot and will not tolerate this any longer. You have no proof of this. Oh, oh, oh really? <laughs> Your Honor, the proof is all around us. The proof is in the very society that has disintegrated around us. People do not care to one another and ignore the needs of others. Our highest leaders demand gifts. Judges accept bribes and dedicate their own personal desires. Families have broken apart, and those who speak loudest in the temple have broken their covenant. I am in agony of what will become of us, and I am in mourning for the people we are supposed to be in this country. Yet, in all of this, I watch in hope. I watch in hope for the Lord. I speak with truth to the people and pray for their repentance. I wait for God, my Savior, my God will hear me. Does the Council for the Defense have anything to say to this? The prophet has made a difficult case, Your Honor. We have fallen, we have sinned against God, and we will surely bear the Lord's wrath. It is up to us to repent and change. 
Only God can bring us back into the light. We are covered with shame. Our leaders must again shepherd the people in the fields of righteousness. In all our prosperity, we believe the Lord was blessing us. But these words from the Lord say something completely different. Indeed. But if you do this, God will show divine wonders to you. I've heard enough. It's the ruling of this court that the people have seen the error of their ways and are willing to attempt repentance and reconciliation. Though your track record is poor, and I have my doubts, I will not at this time order the destruction of the people. <laughs> Our God is like none other. God pardons sins and forgives the transgression. God does not stay angry forever, but delights in showing mercy. Therefore, compassion will be shown the people. God will be true to the people and show mercy, as you pledged in your covenant so long ago. Remember your pledge. At this time, I pronounce a reprieve on the people so that they may change their ways. <laughs> but hear this clearly. Your future depends on you. Court is now adjourned.